have a follow-up on a story we first told you about this past Thanksgiving, a unique effort to help the homeless and our planet. It has some Waukesha County students being schooled in benevolence. Students at Rolling Hills Elementary School in McGuanago file into class. They're about to get a lesson in humanity. Oh, they love it. They love it. The kids are hearing from Donna Rymish, founder of a club that makes mats for the homeless. They're called Mercy Mats, and they're made out of plastic grocery bags. It's going to take me between five and 700 bags to make that one mat. Students witness how the plastic coverings can help those with no shelter. So then the person would cover up. Now they'll be nice and warm for sleeping. Now students are ready to do their part. There's the sorting station, the folding area, and the cutting table. It's a lesson in kindness and ecology. We want to help people that don't have the comforts that we have. And we also want to help our environment by keeping these bags out of the landfills. The class got the idea to make the Mercy Mats after watching a TMJ4 story we aired on Thanksgiving. Do you remember when we all watched that video from Channel 4? Since then, people of all ages have volunteered for the Mercy Mat mission. This is a second class for these students. But the first time we did it, they were like, oh, I'd like one of those mats. So it would be really cool to have. And then we talked about there are people who don't have these homes, you know, and they really need the mats. So understanding the concept of we're making these for other people. With these kids helping us, this is huge time savings, so I can devote more of the time to actually making these mats and getting them out to the homeless. It takes between 50 and 100 hours to make one Mercy mat, but with the help of these young hands, people living without a roof will get help a lot faster. It helps people that are homeless, and I, and I don't think that's fair that people don't have a home. Really sad, and I feel really bad for them and I wish they had a home too. And kids are so good at heart, so, you know, they want to do good, so it's so fun. Yeah, we love it. And so far, the Mercy Mat Mission has produced about 12 mats for the homeless, most going to veterans.